Welcome to program and knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about how to use keyboard with PS2 type or USB type. So in this video I just make an assemble with PS2 type because they are asymmetric each other and then after introduce you to PS2 type I will talk about USB type a little bit. Okay, let's go. First I will introduce you female PS2 connector first. This is the female PS2 connector. It has six pins but we just use four pins. We don't need to use pin six and pin two, okay? Uh, the four pins left is clock, GND, data and five voltage supply power. Okay, this is the front side and in the back side we also have six pins and we only use four pins. This is clock, this is ground, this is data, and this is 5 voltage. Okay, you have to connect to your Arduino. Okay, remember that. This is how keyboard works. Uh, we have a signal diagram like this. When we, when we press any keys on keyboard, the keyboard will transfer via data pins a packet. Each data packet consists of 11 bits. These are one start bit, a data bit, uh, one parity bit, and one stop bit, like this. Okay, first, the keyboard will pull down the clock pins from high to low to announce for Arduino E start. And then send A bit data via data bins, and then send parity bit and stop bit. Okay, that's how the keyboard work. Okay, and on Arduino we have to decompose those signal and then compare with the default keyboard scan code table. Okay, this is keyboard scan code table. Each key on keyboard has the uh, individual scan code. Example, it press the key A, the keyboard will transfer a packet to Arduino, and Arduino will have to decompose that signal. And after decompose that signal, the Arduino know what is data and then bring out the 1C to serial monitor and the other like that. And these signals are very fast. So simple pulling pin stay would be too slow and we could lose some data. Because of this, we use external interrupt pins on Arduino to get the data here. This is a two interrupt pins on Arduino Uno. With the keyboard, we just use interrupt pins to receive data. We cannot use the other pins because, uh, as I said, uh, we can lose data when use the digital pins. We must use the interrupt pins, okay? And we can use interrupt one or interrupt zero to receive data but in our library we are going to download they use interrupt one so we only use interrupt one to communicate with the keyboard okay remember that i will use interrupt one in this video to communicate with arduino and keyboard okay next is the arduino library link this is the link of arduino library this is the link and there are many type of library right here and the newest version is 2.3 but uh, we have to use P PS2 Keyboard 002 because it's quite easy okay I will use PS2 Keyboard 002.zip in this video for easy and after we download the library we have to move to sketch session include library and then add dot zip library to the Arduino idea then we have to edit some code in library because uh, with some new Arduino IDE version it can be error when use the old library here we have to move to this directory this PC documents Arduino libraries and move to PS2 keyboard folder. After you import your keyboard library to your Arduino IDE, you will find out PS2 keyboard folder. If you cannot find out the PS2 keyboard folder, you have to import your library first. 
okay and then we have to open the ps2 keyboard dot cpp okay we have to edit some code in this file the this is a 2 out line I've command it we have to replay two light above to two light below okay we have to use unsigned chart constant it's okay when we uh, change like this and then when you edit you have to save the p2 keyboard.cpp okay this is a diagram between uh, p2 connector and Arduino uh, we have to connect four pins first e 5 voltage to 5 voltage gnd to gnd the orange line is clock we have to connect to interrupt pins that is pin 3 and this is the interrupt 1 and the last one is green this is the data we have to connect to pin 4 or any pin you want to connect okay but remember the clock pins we have to connect to interrupt pins of Arduino okay remember that before connect the diagram we will call okay uh, first of all we have to include ps2 keyboard.h okay then we have to init the ps2 keyboard by ps2 keyboard and this is the name you can put it in my keyboard okay and then invoice setup we have to init keyboard my keyboard dot begin and this is the data data pin okay we use the pin 4 so I will transfer the 4 to this and then we have to init the serial monitor with 9600 bar rate okay in loop function we have um, if my keyboard dot available available this mean when we press anything on keyboard the I don't know is the tech we press so it will accept this function okay and then we have a variable is byte data receive is my keyboard dot read okay we have to assign my keyboard dot read to data receive as a byte because the data received from keyboard as a byte okay and then we have to print out this data to serial monitor as a hexadecimal because our data is hexadecimal okay okay now let's check my circuit okay I have the female ps2 like this and I soldered some wire to this this is clock pins this is brown is GND this is white for data and the last one is blue blues for 5 voltage okay and I have four wires like the diagram but I will replace the yellow one to red one okay first is red yellow I will connect to 5 voltage okay I will use a breadboard to connect to divide for more stable 5 voltage GND GND to the GND in this 5 voltage above and GND below this is clock clock E orange and clock I will connect to the pin 3 this is interrupt pins 0 1 2 3 okay this is 3 I will connect below and the data pin with you green wire this is pin 4 okay I will put it to the above okay now connect this PS2 keyboard to the breadboard this is clock clock in clock in orange 
brown e ground ground here and white is data data is green and the last one blue is five voltage Oh, it's quite hard. The last one blow with five on touch. Okay. Now I will plug my P2 keyboard to the P2 connector. Okay. Okay, now I will connect my Arduino to laptop and upload the code. Like this. Okay, now we upload uploading code and then open the serial monitor. Okay, now I will try to Press some key on my keyboard. I will try to press A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, this is the hex sedimental character. So I will compare with the keyboard scan code. Okay, here A E one C. BE thirty two, right? And C twenty one, D twenty three, and E twenty four. Okay, this is E twenty four. Okay, that's is the house keyboard work. And now I will have application like this. I will check if I press key A. The Arduino will bring A to serial monitor. Okay, if uh, data receive, is zero x one C. I will print serial dot print. dot print uh, a okay you you can try with the other character but I just want to make an example with a okay let's check I will upload in code okay now we check with a a okay here when I press A, it will bring A, and then it will bring the hex hexadecimal. A A A. But when I press B, it just bring the hexadecimal because I don't check the B key. Okay. Okay, and the last one. This is a USB type, and this is a diagram of USB cable. This is a female USB and it has four pins. On the left is VCC and on the right is ground. The two pin center on the left is D minus and the other is D plus. And the D plus is clock and the D minus is data. You should connect those pins to the Arduino like the PS2 type. Okay, it also have data, clock, ground and VCC. Okay, let's try it with yourself okay thanks for watching the video